just sitting here messaging one of the locals on Meshko using Meshko to diagnose problems with Meshtastic. <laughs> Looks like he might have got my message, but I didn't get his one. He said I did reply and mesh test it, but I didn't I didn't get it. Anyway, right now we're just talking about setting up more repeaters in the area for mesh core. But yeah, just generally sending messages on this is just so snappy at the moment. Um, look at this, so I'll just send that out straight away and it just goes through three hops away that has been delivered i know 100 percent that he's received that message because that won't go unless he's actually received it at the other end so guys yeah it's finally nice to be outside and get a bit of sun it's it's been horrible the last you know few weeks but um yeah sun's out so i'm out here um i'd rather be outside than sitting inside in front of a computer but anyway so yeah on the subject of um sort of meshcore and how it's working the latest repeater firmware we've just pushed out to the um to to github and and obviously the flasher website if you don't know about the flasher website we've got a new flasher at flasher.meshcore.co.uk which makes it super Super easy to install firmware um, especially on the t-dex remember how much of a nightmare it used to be to install the um the firmware like the gui firmware and stuff on on the t-dex and the t-dex pluses i've been playing around with the best way to flash these devices and and a lot of my kind of previous experience with like flashing android tv boxes and all of that kind of kind of thing um has sort of helped me out with that so now it should be super reliable when you're flashing these devices um you should not have a problem it's it's literally just a matter of hold the track ball plug, plug it into the PC or, or Mac or whatever, um, Chrome browser, and it will just install, no problem. You won't have, won't have any drama, it should work every time. If you do have problems, you can use, use that like, you know, M5 flash or whatever um, bootloader thing if you wanna use that, but it shouldn't be, shouldn't be necessary now. Um, so yeah, on the subject of the repeater side of things, we've made quite a lot of tweaks to the repeaters lately, um, and it has helped a lot actually um there's some stuff under the hood if you kind of read code and stuff go and check out github but basically we've made some like kind of changes there to kind of improve um reliability on that um but it's it's super snappy as you can see it's it's really working quite well so some of these features are actually tunable so you are able to kind of influence things a little bit if you've got if you if you really know how your mesh works so you can sort of fine tune it which is which is really good um so yeah maybe a video on that sort of another point because it gets a bit complicated all of that but yeah all you need to know for now is the latest firmware on the flasher for the repeaters and stuff are working fantastic we've even got we've got t114 firmware as well i actually tested a v1 t11 for on meshcore and it seems to work so let me know if you want to try a v1 let me know if it works because i found that my t1 that i've got uh, v1 t114 heltec that is um actually works and it might be because the um i don't know the spreading factor is different on meshcore but it could just be a freak of nature it could be a fluke but i found my t114 actually works now i know for some users out there that want to try meshcore but obviously they haven't got a t deck which is a bit of a pain i would highly advise getting a t it though because it is just an amazing little gadget that can do all of the mesh core functionality right now but i will say don't worry if you haven't got a t deck right now the app is in development and it will be ready very very soon so what that means effectively is you'll be able to use like a heltec v3 like this one or a rack or a heltec t114 as a companion radio for the app and it'll obviously connect to the smartphone by bluetooth oh yeah another cool thing We've got customizable tones now, so you can have a customizable tone um, for your message. Basically, just drag on an MP3 file onto the SD card, and it will use that for the um, for the alert. And you can also get a little notification sound when somebody appears in your discover list. You might not have heard that little sound. It's very very tiny and very subtle, but I quite like it. I'll leave the sounds in the uh, in the description so you can download the, those as well because they're different to the default baked in sounds. And yes, you might have noticed Andy Mac there. Um, I'm not going to show you a preview of the um, of the app for the for the Mac and PC. Oh, there you go quickly. So one of the guys in the development channel on Discord is working on that. Shout out to you, Recroft. Um, he's been doing loads of hard work on that. Um, and I believe that app is not going to be a specific PC or Mac app. It will actually be like a Chrome uh, web app. So that's really exciting. And we'll host that on the website as well later down the line. Miss Tastic has definitely calmed down a lot lately. There's a lot less messages on there. My first one was at 9.52 this morning. Um, but yeah, and if you look at the map, I mean, there's definitely less nodes out there than there were. I don't think this is all Mexico's fault. I just think people have probably just got a little bit, don't know, fed up with it, maybe. 
Um, it's a shame because obviously, you know, Meshtastic is a is a really good beaconing system. Like it really does work well um, for this. Just literally seeing what's what's kind of in the area. So I think, guys, that's going to be about it for this one. Um, I think I'm just going to go and fly some FPV now because it's just so nice out there. This has just turned up. If you're into FPV. So it's pretty cool, so might give that a little blast. But yeah, catch you in the next video.